everybody, it's Mr. Eric. Welcome to a new series all about being, well, thankful. To be thankful means to be full of thanks. Like when we realize that something in our life is a gift or a blessing and we feel and even share with others our thankfulness for that thing. What are we taught to say when someone else gives us something or does something nice for us? Well, two simple words, right? Thank you. Thank you for holding the door for me. Very kind. Thank you for making dinner. Very tasty. Thank you for letting me eat three cookies right before bed. Well, that was great. Well, maybe not that last one. It's not a healthy idea. But the point is that we should show gratitude in all situations. Now, everyone say gratitude. Gratitude is having an attitude of thankfulness. It's basically the same thing. Now, today we're going to celebrate that God made us. Did you know that? Yeah, our bottom line for today is I am thankful God made us. Say it with me. I am thankful God made us. Have you ever built something really cool? Maybe you created an awesome tower out of Legos or created something out of Play-Doh. Well, today we're gonna talk about how this world was created. It wasn't built out of Legos or created out of Play-Doh. The world was made in a much more amazing way. Yeah. The coolest part of all is that it was created by God. Let's take a look and see exactly how he did it. God only had to speak and the whole world was created. Imagine if you could say what you wanted and it would appear right in front of you. That would be crazy. You would probably say something like, let there be no school or let there be puppies. But God used his power to create everything that is around you. God took six days to create everything. That's right, only six days to create everything in the universe. On day one, he created the heavens and the earth. It was really dark, so he created light too. On day two, he created the sky. On day three, he created land, sea, and plants. On day four, God created the sun, moon, and stars so that we have night and day and different seasons. On day five, he created all the fish in the sea and all the birds in the sky. On day six, God created all the animals on the ground and people too. On day seven, God stopped. He had already created everything, so he took some time to rest. Wow, God created a lot of stuff. But do you know what the best thing God created was? You and me. Do you know why we are the best thing God created? Well, let's look at the Bible to find out. So God created human beings in his own image. Genesis 1, 27. He made us in his own image so that we could be different from all the other created things on this earth. We are a very special part of God's creation and he loves us more than we could even imagine. So the next time you're building with Legos or playing with Play-Doh, think about how God created the whole world and we are his most special creation. God created everything. Now that's amazing. God's creation is amazing. Can you imagine being there when nothing existed except God? The Bible says that God created the heavens and the earth, but it was dark. And then God just speaks and suddenly there was light. And for six days, God creates things with his unlimited power, such as creating the sky to separate the water below from the water above and creating dry land by forming the water together into seas. Then God made plants and trees to grow. Gorgeous. After that, God made lights that we see in the sky. Things like the sun and the moon. And don't forget the stars. In the water, he created fish and other life too. He put birds of every kind up in the sky. Tweet, 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 tweet. On the land, God created all kinds of animals and any animal you can think of and those you've never even heard of. They were all created by God. 
all along the way, God declared that everything he made was good, but he didn't even stop there. After God created all those things, the Bible tells us that God made human beings. It started with Adam and then Eve, but then every person that has ever been born on this earth is a special creation of the one true God of the universe. Do you think if we had been there and seen God do all of that in the beginning that we might be way more grateful for all that God has created, including ourselves? Well, I would hope so, because I believe that what I read about creation in the Bible is true. I know that I am thankful that God created everything, and I am thankful God made us. Our lives are a gift from God. We're blessed to be here on this planet, and God deserves our gratitude or thankfulness. And more than just being made by God, we are actually created in his image. Listen to this in the book of Genesis. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. That's Genesis 1.27. That's incredible, you guys. All human beings are created in God's image. When we look at our own image in a mirror, we see ourselves. But do you ever look in the mirror and see that you are someone who God created? See, God created us to be reflections of himself. When other people see the way we talk and behave, do they see God in us? Do they see his love, his kindness, and his forgiveness in and through us? No animals or plants or anything else is created in the image of God. Only us humans. How could we not show God how thankful we are for that? So let's practice being thankful to God by saying our bottom line together again. I am thankful God made us. The Bible is loaded with verses about being thankful to God. Our memory verse is one of them. Listen to this. And give thanks for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's found in Ephesians 5.20. See, here one of Jesus' disciples named Paul is saying that we should give thanks to God for everything. That includes the good things we have and experience, as well as the hard things that help us learn to trust and obey God better. So yes, we should totally tell God, thank you for creating us and for making us in his image. But the truth is that we should also thank God for everything. And throughout this series, we're going to focus on being thankful to God for different things. It's going to be an amazing journey of learning how to be grateful to God. And you know what? I have a challenge for you this week. Spend time talking to God in prayer every day and thank him for making you. Now, let's go ahead and say today's bottom line again, one more time. I am thankful God made us. May we never forget to be thankful to God for creating us in his image. We are very special to him and he loves us so much. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.